afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to one versus one on family approach in the north. It is freedom. Fighting for America, freedom, democracy. Taking on the role here of the 3rd Armored Division with heavy cavalry. Tactical support and recon support with triple infantry bulletins. Versus the side that is the Angry Dutchman. With strategic reserves featuring assault grenadiers. The Panzer IV Ausführung Yacht. The breakthrough packages. Mobile observation posts. And the Tiger Ace with mine and Panzerfaust bulletins here for Angry Dutchman. Got the MD42 start versus double rifle here for freedom. Heading north as there, both sides are leaning for this now the center south here. Rather unexplored territory. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And press that bell button. It helps me and it helps you. If you wish to support the propaganda cast further, you can either donate or pledge on Patreon. Links in the description. Of course, a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters allow me to keep doing this day after day. So, big thanks to all you wonderful people. And you to make up north here and getting right reaction there by the northern fuel point. Going to be setting out there for Angry Dutchman. We'll of course have to see how he ends up using the Doctrine, but it's only a Proactive choice of the doctrine, so like that man, there's gonna be some assault grenades at some point here. Though, question of course, how many and when? Of course, may just plan to use the Panther Mold Gay, which is pretty good. Rearson suppressed, routed, trying to sort of keep the rifle there a bit in check, get close and force them out. But they are heavy cover, which makes the job a bit harder here for Angry Dutchman. There we go, and holding up pioneers, suffer the loss of Ludwig in the south rifle, heading south for sick, and this one westwards. And there we go, we got assault and news out here for Angry Dutchman. Third round support there for freedom. So, we got some heavily equipped assault and news there with MP40s. And in theory, at some point, satchels filled with grenades, which was a common occurrence for assault troops and pioneers in general, just being in hand of the satchel filled with grenades for the assault missions. Little fun fact there. Troops in Norfolk here. Pioneers and 42 of course, a bit worried about with the rifle now, but they've actually repositioned. Freedom Nurse fighting there would not do them a lot of good in the long run, so it's better just putting effort elsewhere. Thumbs up to Freedom there. That's going to moving about here. Salt Grenadiers are moving into the center support as well as the Grenadiers. Shot fire Grenadiers and rifle moving up in each other. On North Rifle striking in here. <coughs> There we go, nice use of the sprint. A bit of an overlooked ability when it comes to the Germans in general, like in assault gun leads, like it's the sprint abilities and just being able to quickly hit troops into a good spot is really good. And there you go, quick last one, turn the table down the rifle squad here. Lamb to then focus on the rifleman in the south, good work there. And we're holding up here, right flank is actually quite open. We got double assault guns out here for Angry Dutchman, so he's heading hard there on the German assault infantry, assault is pursuing the rifleman. And. Not far off being able to sprint again and that way run them down entirely. And we're holding them flanked. As the reason, of course, are drawing fire from the enemy for two pioneers from the anchor rifle should have a good chance dealing with them. Actually, focus down the pioneers first. There you go, causing collapse from the right flank. Good flank there by Freedom. Of North here, rifle as the assault grenadiers, and the assault grenadiers are winning that one handily since they do up close pack a lot more firepower than the riflemen. Rifle there, riding the pioneers back here. No tech yet. We've got the second assault grenade squad out there for Angry Dutchman. Rifle setting out there. we got Trip Rifle out there for Freedom. She's in the western fuel point here, so they're good. Northern fuel being secured as well. And we got rifle up here for Freedom. Heading here at the southern field where Angry Dutchman gun is holding up. We got a second gun in this squad there. So, MG42 double gun in this, double assault gun in this is definitely not a opening I've actually seen a lot of in the Valmarks sort of in one versus one. So, thumbs up there for Angry Dutchman then going for something a bit different. Assault guns that are considered some of the Valmarks special infantry certainly a notch about the gun in these. In particular, this is the Americans and the rifle, and they're usually considered one of the better picks to go for. It's uh, that you basically try and rush with Panzer gun in Rather than rely on the regular grenadiers. So there you go, soldiers right here the rifle again. Note again the crucial element of just using sprint to quickly close the distance so the assault goes quickly into their effective range and lastly beat the rifle faster. So again, thumbs up there to Angry Dutchman. MD4 do this as a rifleman. The channel moving in here, soldiers quickly moving in to assist here in the center. I'll just get out of the range here of the lieutenant and try and get another hand there, I think. Much better idea there by Angry Dutchman there. A bit of a quick decision to be made though. Pushing up the American North. Ambulance almost down there for freedom. No sign of a doctrine yet for him. Might go for a mechanized command post anytime soon. MD42 moving about. Again, note the active usage of the MD42 by Angry Dutch. Not just parking in one place and sort of forgetting about it. He's actually utilizing his support his troops and engagements versus the American player. So again, thumbs up there. Basically, Angry Dutchman doing it the right way. So far, anyways. 
turn their pushback. Assault is very low in health. Could consider retreating them for some reinforcement. Maybe also get a medic banker up there. Or at least a 251 half track if he's attacked. To that way, get them healed on the go. That can also be quite handy. In particular, getting a 251 half track field with assault gun is kind of live for some pretty impressive assaults. I'll again control both fuel points here versus freedom. Freedom certainly falling a bit behind here. Got the mechanized command post going up. Noting, by the way, we're five minutes of the game and no one has yet to actually grab victory point except now. Bit of a rare sight there, to be honest. Not that it really matters heavily, but it is worth noting there. Mechanized command post halfway done. Nothing further going on there for freedom. No pursuit calls where he ends up with. Tech should be right about down there for Angry Dutchman. Northern point being seized. s mines up here to defend the Northern Victory Point. Good work there by Angry Dutchman. Also, no, in particular the terrain, it actually slightly obscures the mines signs there, so it can actually be more easy to overlook here due to the terrain there. So that's a bit of an extra bonus over there. Go big push. He's basically avoiding the main force of Angry Dutchman there, which I think is the good move there. And so trying to else other territories, maybe trying to flank around here. It's a good play there by Freedom. Good reading his opponent. Active man to help maneuver the machine gun here as well. Very good, very good. Up north here, almost getting wiped with the pioneers. That would actually hurt Angry Duck in the early games. He then could all spend 200 manpower again on more tech. No, doesn't quite go for the wipe. Close one there. He's actually going to sweep out the south round just secure on the north here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's the best move there by uh, Freedom. But that's just me. All the mechanized command post down. He's probably going to go for a sword light tank. He's got plenty of munitions and an option that could be considered by Freedom and the Americans here. The third armored would be to just go for some early BARs and bazookas, and that way put pressure on his opponent. We got an M20, maybe he's planning mines. That'd be interesting. Now the MD42 there for Angry Dutch, and yet no tank. Instead, we got an even heavy emphasis here. An aggressive maneuver, in some ways. But certainly means that Freedom's infantry is going to have a very hard time there with a lot of machine guns and assault gun leaders, plus the gun leaders. I mean, that's a lot of firepower that Angry Dutchman can bring to bear versus his American opponent. That is was right from there, doing some light damage. Gun is with the reasons here by the Southern Fuel. Took him enforcing, nothing further going there in Angry Dutchman space. M20 almost down there for freedom. Let's see, of course, what he plans next. Fifth Cup, of course, could also be a very good pick there. He's also not far if we could just go for tactical support and begin handing his outline machine against his rifle. Again, that one increasing his firepower versus Angry Dutchman's troops. Angry Dutchman has not upgraded his gun these yet. But the light machine guns. Got rear some lieutenant finding out. We got the M20 out there for freedom. Rams the gun these here. Heavy fire there. Going on by the southern fuel pond. Northern fuel has been claimed as well by the Americans. We got 500 support of 30. 429. MD42 dealing with the Lieutenant without a grenade or anything like that. The Lieutenant needs to retreat before he gets annihilated by the MD42 there. Of them coming the area here. Good work by Angry Dutchman. Up north here, we got their soldiers pushed back here by double riflemen. Cannot push through that on their own. And now we got Freedom 720 moving in there. Could give, definitely give Angry Dutchman a bit of a hard time since he's got currently no real light vehicular counters. Most he can use Panzer Fast and send the armor pistol to stop it. And of course. The assault gun is do not have access to Panther Fire, so they're going to be quite wrong with the M20 utility car, and that's probably here what Freedom is banking on, and of course maybe laying down some mines. we got munitions being expended, of course, there on the armored skirts, but uh, no sign of things further here. In the south, we got M4 doing plenty of the resistance, though still going on and covering it. Good use of overlapping fields of fire there by Angry Dutchman. Looks like some hits some mines up there, back here, troops reinforcing, healing. No weapon racks, nothing further going on there for freedom. No signs of the mines either, and no doctrinal choice either. We do have a mortar, which of course can be quite helpful as well. The machine guns, plus right general fire support here for him versus Angry Dutchman. Angry Dutchman's build order so far continues to stand out. I mean, just two gun two assaulters and two MD42s. The 222 strategy, if you will. Ha ha ha. 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 Yeah, not too funny there. Like to make a nice company up there. Probably going to be a 2 to 2 or a pack 40. Probably a pack 40 to be honest. But 2 to 2 wouldn't be a bad pick either. Lieutenant with a bazooka. He's off to expect. No, he does go for the 2 to 2 here. He does go for the 2 to 2. Modifying down and pushing out the gym. Of course, got one machine coming up. PL1 can, of course, support from here. Could also not support there. Email pushing on here from Freedom. At least running into some uh, difficulties there. And a unit gets what? Rob score taken out. Good work there by Angry Dutchman. Bit of problem there for Freedom. He could consider some ranges with Thompsons. And they do, do in fact get ranges out. And that of course then very likely be Thompsons on the way. You should have probably tried with a deeper flank here as well as them conducting the main assault there. Should have hit the mortar laid on the smoke screen around here. 
Could have been done a bit better there by Freedom. Up north, though, Angry Dutch and Strength with the Pioneers and the Salt Committees. M22 probe dispatch to deal with that, though. We got the troops moving in here. Could take out the M24. Freedom can get it out of there. He's going to have to pop smoke and reposition. Mort being pushed up. Rob's got almost taken out here. Quite a few hits there on Freedom right now here from Angry Dutchman. Good turning up with his bazooka. Good hit there. Still no. Thompson's on the Rangers and another unit wiped. He's lost his other rifle squad as well. He's done just one plus the Rangers and the Lieutenant. Angry Dutchman is getting his opponent by a bit of, be of a beating there. Of course, noting rifleman defense structures, smoke barrages, Rangers, combined arms, and the Pershing heavy tank. Northern Pontic short here. S mine or Tell mine takes it down here from Angry Dutchman. Very good there. Rifling south, it's probably good for deeper flank here. We'll have to see if he does that. Troops are reinforcing healing. And oh, two to two, got knocked out. Guess he actually had a mine down actually with the M20. Go ahead. Nice. Very nice. Good work there for Freedom then. Good work. Mines win wars, as they say. Termine, by the way, is actually shrouded by the tree there, so. You can actually have a look at it in some ways. In this case, he did not. Rangers can't get the Thompson up and then finally as well. In the center, though, we got a strong defense here from Angry Dutch from the machine guns and infantry should have formed up a uh, bit of a hedgehog position, which is going to be difficult for Freedom to breach head on currently. Of course, with a good flank, it's Matilda support should have a chance there. Still, Freedom in a tight position again, losing those two rounds. Scorts and get rid of the 2 to 2. Two infantry scores, what is pretty harsh. And they're going for the MG42. Should be able to clear it out. Of course, if Angry Dutchman is paying attention, they could actually easily get the white, but he does pay attention, get them out of there. Very good. I'm trying to just go need some repairs. Troops retreating. Lots of action here. We have no tech yet there, though, for Angry Dutchman. So, and if you got the pound of all, yeah, you kind of want to see if you can't rush it out of there. Freedom bring up the fifth cup to help deal with Angry Dutchman's infantry. I think that's a very good pick there. What with all the assault gun ideas? And the way that so far that Angry Dutchman has made reasonably good use of them. Point between the south being seized. You may want to consider laying down mines with the riflemen. That could also be a very good idea there. And they're saying Norfolk's there for Angry Dutchman and the 116th Panzer of the Schoen Windhund. Plus another Ralph's Court there. Freedom making up for the losses he suffered. Very good. I think we'd actually get away with another Ranger score and just keep in more Thompson. I think that'd be quite effective here. Versus his opponent in the south and 20 charging in the Gunners and the Assault Gunners. Right, Sasha, that was the best move there. I saw this again using the spread ability to quick close in. Need to use uh, the M20 to sort of hose them down there. Instead of focusing on the Grenadiers. There you go. Soldiers, in fact, almost been wiped out here. The M20 allowed to turn the engagement around there. Up north, Germans can do pressure here. We got this Rangers down to just too many to retreat. We turn doing when it can at range. In the south, we got a pack forward moving in there. Pushing back the M20. Fifth couple joining in the front. Keeping the southern fuel there. American. And you go Rangers flanking with a grenade and force retreat on the gun. It is very good work there by Freedom. Nice maneuver there. Though we still feel like you need to retreat those Rangers. Back here, troops moving forward. We've got 528. Freedom has uh, been a bit more focused on the field than the victory points. Oh, well, he's actually been more focused in the center of the map than the victory points. And particularly, he's not been really doing much in the far south. So you need to focus a bit more on the victory points at this rate. Though it's all, as I say, making a reasonable comeback here versus his opponent. We got final take up there for Angry Dutchman. Freedom is going to be some time away. Could not, would not be surprised if he ends up trying to stall here for the Pershing. Fifth cover being routed. Northern half being seized here. Almost got the northern fuel here. MG42 hosing away there. M20, of course, could consider laying down some mines and see if he can catch any like, German tanks with it. That'd be great there for Freedom. And pretty bad for Angry Dutchman. Pretty bad. Rearsons need to retreat. They're already pinned down. They're less half elf. But so far, no sound. That may get a big German infantry pushing up the eastern side here from Angry Dutch and 116th Panzer Division Winhund. Machine gun there routed, falling back as it realizes the situation is not defensible. What are they going to And we got the company command post. I think increasing chance here that this is likely a Persian stall here for freedom. Since going to learn that, we get double anti tank guns out and then use those to stall for the Pershing here versus Angry Dutchman. There we go, Captain Up. Can of course also crit with a BAR. Still feel like he needs to like, put more pressure in the south flank. He needs to hit Angry Dutchman, sort of 
edges stay a bit harder rather than just trying to hit him where it's like strongest. North here, half I'm trying to get a few kills on the Gunnadiers. Note that Angry Darts when he's yet to upgrade any of his Gunnadiers with light machine guns, so of course he can soon actually begin upgrading his assault Gunnadiers with the veteran scald use would call to be a very good upgrade since that's another guy and gives them some other benefits you need to quickly focus on that assault with the fifth cover oh that might just be too late they should be in range now the uh, assault grenades possibly oh no mind i got suppressed and a mort hit that wiped up half of the survivors i'm north here we got assault with rifle squad rifle squad is definitely loose to those especially two assault grenades up close no chance in hell they survive that one without a grenade and uh, Freedom has not gone for any grenades, at least not yet. I'm trying to go for the assault grenades, of course. On the other hand, stand no chance against that vehicle, heading south as well. Going for the fuel, and before Tuesday, forming up a line of uh, fire here, which Freedom cannot quite easily pass. Need to hit the points here. Quickly, we got 489, this is 278. Pack heading north, it's range moving about here for Freedom and the third armored is going for the gun release by the northern fuel from there. Go quick, pineapple grenade. Force them away then, line the range, get close in more easily. Got rifling it off after the misses. And to tank there for freedom, very much expected and anticipated. Angry Dutchman is a bit far away here from a Panther 4. Needs to treat those ranges before they get annihilated. Some of the fuel were being seized, and we got the pioneers hiding about here, thinking they're being clever, but they may soon be flashed out. And to tank halfway down there for freedom and the third armament. Captain is enough and up and upgraded with a BAR. Despite having ample munitions for it, in fact, Freedom seems a bit sluggish there with his munitions expenditures. Rangers reinforcing, healing again. Yes, got the M1 into tanking out there for Freedom and the third armor hitting the southern victory point. Very good there. We got 476 with 278. And a mine sound by looks going off here. I'll swear, maybe the mortar rounds. Got mortar rounds. There you go, fifth cup on a covering fire here in the south. Holding up the gems in the advance. There you go, volley fire, but gonna need some more support here in the south to deal with that. Oh, great assault in the fifth caliber. Very nice work there by Frieda, or Angry Dutchman on Freedom. Needs to force that one out. Lieutenant pushed back the gun. He's almost getting a wipe down, Angry Dutchman, but one man lives, one man runs. Soldiers there pinned down to the ground. Cat moving up, but they're getting hit here by another machine gun. And machine gun got wiped. He's secured by Angry Dutchman. That's a blow there to Freedom, and a great hole there for Angry Dutchman. That has Three machine guns, including a 50 caliber, which is manned by assault gun leaders at that. Back here to reinforcing healing. No tech yet there for freedom. We definitely want to get that going soon, even if we're trying to stall for the Pershing. We want to be able to call in as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Angry Dutchman is slowly approaching the Panzer IV model, yet being a possible thing to call in. The range is suppressed here by the MD42 down here again. Nice use of the before 2s there and by Angry Dutchman, of course, getting another machine gun. I think it's only going to make him more of a frightening opponent there for freedom to deal with. Each reposition the machine gun, soldiers being assaulted by the riflemen. Then he's assaulting Norfolk, troops and pursued by the grenadiers. Very close to that Panther Mordier, but again, freedom is starting to really get a good job there, harassing Angry Dutchman fuel lines. And it's actually getting a lot more fuel. We're talking almost five times as many fuel at some points, roughly four times as much fuel. So, Angry Dutchman, despite being close to the Panther Mordier, is actually at the same time quite some time away, whereas Freedom is increasing a lot of fuel. In fact, is not far off from a Pershing. So that could actually give Angry Dutchman's Panther Mordier a bit of a hard time, do some good play to a Freedom, though victory points wise, Angry Dutchman still has a lot to work with. Still surprised the lack of any light machines for the Gunnadiers. Meanwhile, we're finally seeing weapon racks up there for Freedom. BAR's being handed out there to the Rifleman. Surprised the cap though. Still has been upgrading. You'd figure that would be like just, you know, one of the first things uh, he did there, but interesting enough, he didn't. Rangers rather than support there, pushing back the assault gun leaders with ease. The assault gun leaders unable to really just do anything against that. Mod fighting rain down here. Up north, we got Rapping there with the support going here for the grenadiers. Graves could also sell, I think, be a great upgrade to choose there for his infantry. Being suppressed by the M42. In fact, no, it's actually not the M42, it's a 50 caliber. Suppressing there the rangers. And the Germans certainly were not above their using enemy equipment against the enemy as long as they had the ammunition for it. So, little fun fact there. Major out. Mortified there on the Pioneer's position. Panther 4 model yellow with a Fangry Dutchman finally. A bit delayed again due to the very successful harassment strategy there of Freedom. And he's actually, I mean, 
not far off from a Pershing. At this rate, he's going to be only like two minutes behind the Panzer IV there with the Pershing. So, I mean, he's been able to quite successfully deny angry Dutchman his fuel. I mean, that's actually something there worth keeping in mind. Again, just highlights how important it can be to control the fuel. And again, I feel like it's something some players can slightly attend to look and forget about. And you thought it was going to north and see if we got anything to look at people northern fuel. Maybe moving up here, machine gun repositioning, maybe worried about something coming out of the smoke. Possibly artillery. Panther Mollier almost done, they're opening repositioning here. Robin holding up, but they're being subjected to increasing pressure here from Angry Dutchman and the 116th Panzer Dishon Minhund. And there you go, Panther Four Mollier out here for Angry Dutchman, adding the Panama machine in there to it. North here is always charging out the Rangers. Ooh, there we go, grenade on the MD42. Close but not quite. And we actually get grenades now here for freedom. Except now he spends all his munitions and other things. He doesn't quite have the munitions to pop grenades. But once you get more munitions, which with almost both few munitions upon his control shouldn't be too impossible. But, you know, it's worth noting there. Panther Formal J setting out. We are less than a minute away here from freedom getting out in the Pershing Heavy Tank here versus Angry Dutchman, who only has a Panda 4 and a pack to deal with that. It's going to be a bit of a chance there for Angry Dutchman. I would say he's other than doing a reasonably good job there. I feel like he may in fact been focusing too much in the center and not so much in the fuel points, which again can be a bit dangerous. Panther Falling Northwoods here, fifth cover being routed. Shot fine, there you go. Two riflemen down. Worth noting the Panther Falling is basically the same as the Orbital Commander West one for the Wehrmacht, except it doesn't have the other two levels of veterans. But it overall is means it's more accurate. Plus, there's more armor right away, and he gets more accurate. The veterans here. I mean, overall, it's just a pair for not a much bigger price, though, really. It's only been crushed here with the Panther Molier. Shoots and misses. Bit awkward there. Turn there, rounded here by Angry Dutchman. Panther Fort North, we got range charge from the Gunnadies. Forcing a retreat here by Angry Dutchman. And he's got the fuel, he just needs the manpower, and he's not far off from the manpower either. We are seconds away from there, we go. Pershing ready here for Freedom and the 3rd Armoured Division. There we go. So now things are going to get a bit more challenging here for Angry Dutchman as he has to contend with a heavy tank with only a pack and a Panzer IV. He's got no other anti-tank weapons. In fact, I don't think he's got any further telemines laid down. So we'll have to see, of course, how his opponent makes use of the Pershing though. I mean... There's certainly a possibility, of course, he mishandles it. Mortified there on the MD42, almost taking out the person strong north here at the Grenadiers, landing a initially not a very impressive hit, but of course, quickly change. There we go, half unit gone, alongside a lamppost. Good chance of getting a wipe here with a bit of luck there, since the person is also recently accurate on the move, I believe, and I was just very accurate for a heavy tank. Almost got a wipe there, Panther 4 versus the Pershing. Realized, of course, the Panther was not going to make much of it. He's not going to be able to going to try and focus on killing the Gunnadies here off. Close one there for Freedom, but Jürgen here is one lucky bastard. They've got them air trouble for one reposition there. we got more Mortify there. In fact, though, it's this time Angry Dutchman's been bringing up with more of his own. And showing he also has some light to the support there. Two thumbs up. Bring in another pack 40 here. Probably realizing he can't bring in more armor fast enough. They could, I think, you get away with stalling a bit first, dude. Which I think will be a better pick due to being more mobile. We'll have a seat. We got 420 versus 204. Surprisingly enough, he's not grabbed the victory point up there. In the south, we got a soldiers hiding behind a corner. Rage ambush plus machine gun there. From a reasonable network of defense. And the tank grenade landed the Panther 4, damaging his engine. Rob's caught the ambush being taken out by the mortar and Panther 4. It's actually just the Panther 4, I think. North Pershing being repaired. Almost got the northern fuel. Need to grab that victory point. And I think try and sneak him on the southern one as well. Bit of quiet here. We'll mortify around the machine on the car point from Freedom's Mortar there, which is very, very, very close to Vectony 3. We also got a weapon dropped out here a BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. A World War One era weapon that only really saw use it at the very end stage of the war, so I didn't actually see a lot of uses there. So, little fun fact there. Pioneers moving up, could grab the BR, could do it with the Grenadiers. 
Which morning they finally get some sort of upgrade, the one again they had to put for. Oh, he's actually upgrading with the light machines. Well, finally. So they're going to have two light machine guns. So that's going to be quite a problem there. Frankly, that one's going to be for sure. And a bit of a problem there for Freedom's Infantry. Panther 1 advance, got the center there. Going 1 into tank and Lancer Great Hunter. Panther 4 piercing the armor with ease. Second shot, other misses, or. Something like that. More farming down here from Gem Mortars. Rangers and Fire for the Panther 1, the 50 caliber there. Up north, kind of these were halted here by the Pershing Heavy Tank. Six kills on that one now. 420 versus 988. Freedom is not far off from say going for Scott. But I think a Pershing, or not a Pershing, but a Jackson or a Sherman would probably better picks there. Then this is the Lieutenant. Rough need off here. Down just two Grenadiers. Shot bounces off the Pershing front slammer. Lucky there for Freedom. Assault gun is at low health there with three men. That's definitely, I think, somebody should be shooting soon here for him. Otherwise, he very much risk getting wiped out there. Which really would not be to assault, but not to the advantage of freedom. Machine guns continue to be positioned, set up there. Arcs of fire that's going to make it hard for freedom to push through. Great really assault there flushes out the cap, normally taking out an entire unit, in fact. We got the Pentacle Model Gate, half eight to bet, or close to bet to, in fact, not just half eight, in fact, it's more than that. 12 kills in the Panzer Kampfang 4, as from Yod. Rather than the fire, he has to go for the southern field, of course, still has got the machine gun there. There we go, Betty 2 gain the Panzer 4, increased accuracy and turret rotation. And there you go, finish off the unit, since again, more accuracy means more accuracy. So the from being seized there, we got 420 versus 82, we got the Persian going with the support by the anti tank and they could try and take out here. Angry Dutchman's Panther for Model Game. In fact, they have to go for another one. Oh, of course, I'll just go for Stukes. And there you go. Oswind. Interesting pick there. No, nope. not an Oswind. I'm still firing down here in the machine gun nest. Wiping it out. They're denying Angry Dutchman those machine guns. Going for another Panther 4 Model J. Dope deal there with the. Uh, and my Kanisha Panzer. Persian hitting hits from both the Panther and the Persian. Or the pack, but only the pack shot goes through the armor. 16 kills on the Panther 4. 17 kills. Second Panther 4 halfway done there. Person being pushed back. Freedom could soon go for Sherman or E. Jackson here. Both I think will be viable choices depending on what he really wants to hunt down. Northern Fuel Pump being lost here as Angry Dutchman sneaked in some infantry, including the heavily equipped Grenadiers here. Panther 4 almost done there. Mortar firing away. Close to Vetsni 2. Detain Charlie into the front of the 50 cover there, getting suppressed and slowly murdered. We've got the smoke and straight on top of the mortar and the machine gun. Covering up in advance there, possibly, though not much in advance there for freedom. There we go, grenade though. Right on the mortar and wiping Angry Dutchman's mortar crew out entirely. And the South Mage being assaulted with the Salt Grenadiers. Doing what Assault Grenadiers do best, which is assaulting. And saying they're getting a good hit on the Panzer 4. Second Panzer 4 is ready now here for Angry Dutchman and the 116th Panzer of the Sean Binhund. Right from there, under intense fire there from German machine guns and tanks. As another one, fact, the position forcing a definite retreat here from Freedom, unless he wants to lose the entire rifle squad. Nasty hit there. Freedom is interesting enough not bringing up more support for his person in terms of more tanks. That definitely feels like a mistake. They really should be bringing up either Jackson or another Sherman to sort of support the Pershing. Just saying the Persian draw the work, I feel like, is a long-term bad idea here for the Freedom. So, we'll have to see what he goes for. If, there we go. We've got the M36 Jackson. Good pick, of course, was the Panther Force. And put two to support the Pershing. I think the Sherman also, of course, would have been quite good with the smoke screens and ability to quickly, you know, switch high close around to deal with infantry and supporting weapons. Pershing in southwards. When it's worth noting, Freedom hasn't really done a lot about this part of the map when you sort of deeper flanks. I definitely feel like that's a bit on the other side. Compared to Lou, Angry Dutch and better, I think, harassing and sort of flanking about his opponent up north. It's a bit of a difference there. M36 Jackson almost done there for Freedom and the third armor division. Pershing hanging back here. 12 kills, but only one. Very good. Here, yeah, Panzer 4 engaging the Lieutenant held up behind the tank traps. Rather than setting out, enter tank and halfway to Vet 72. It's almost right here by the Pershing. Bit of 
spawn again here. Five nevers the pioneers. There you go. Quick pan up a grenade. Didn't do as much damage as he could have. But he did some damage with no kills. Dells plus the pioneers retreat. More pioneers to the angry dash. Make a good decision there. Plus we got the Jackson out here for freedom. Heading for the northern munitions. We got 46 versus 147. Got the Jackson there ready. Panther was the Pershing, and Vriam Express particularly makes it even easier for the Pershing to get off a good hit there on the Panther 4. Jackson's moving up to support the Pershing as well. Another shot there this time penetrating here. And to tank up to support here, the Panther 4 against the Pershing. Great hit from the Pat 40 as well. Need to kill the fight to attack. Oh, he does have missions for the target weak point. Jackson has got an there. Go Panther Four's main gun is out. He's blitzing, but he could go down. Could go down. Oh, shot bounce by the looks of it from something, or maybe a mortar round. All the way though. Panther Four gets away. Close shave there for Angry Dutchman on London 16th. Pack them in to try and catch the Jackson, but already Freedom is evacuating it from the premises. Very good. Still, Pack gets a good hit there. Of North, we got Glenys moving in. Quick head, of course, with light machine guns. Captain Good time to deal with that. Need to fix up the Pershing and the Jackson fast. We got 4 and 6 was 133. Freedom continues to not put a lot of emphasis on victory points, not even the southern one, which again is, for the most part, actually lightly defended. This time he's browned on a machine, and perhaps realizing he might want to put some effort there. Double light machine gun is for the veteran fleet, pushes back the captain with ease. Panther for Norfolk's. Is he planning tier 4 or something here? Nope. He doesn't have the man population enemies to do anything with it, if he were. Assault is moving up. Inch knock is not upgraded those any of the assault news, in fact, with their veteran squad leaders. You figure he'd do that, but seems like Angry Dutchman doesn't consider it necessary. He has other plans there, hard to say. It does stand out a bit. We're turning opening up then the advancing assault grenadiers. The South MD42 is about to get flanked for the Rangers, but then again we got the Panther to protect the flank here. Will it be in time though? Will it be in time? Can't seem to hit those ranges, and there you go. Angry Dutchman for safety's sake. They just pulled back the machine around the risk of losing it. Up north here, Lieutenant and Major going for the northern victory point here as an Angry Dutchman's back to cooling all three. We got four and six was 104. In the south here, Panther 4 moving to support the other Panther 4. Directed from the entertainment under half health. Angry Dutchman quick to pull back his other Panther 4 there, leaving the first one to come. There you go. Veteran 3 game. The ace level is up there. And I mean, yeah, it's also worth keeping in mind about the Panther from all day. It just tends to veteran to up faster because, again, it is more accurate, meaning it consistently kills more, which, of course, means it just veteran is up faster. So That's also an interesting side effect of the Panther 4 model. Yeah, like, you just get veteran three Panther 4s with it fast on average. So that's a little fun one there. I mean, it is what they were about, a small wipe there, but uh, 71 versus 4 and 6. Freedom really needs, I think, pull off a proper assault here and hit the victory points more effectively. I mean, even now his lieutenant is not focusing on the one here. He's not going with the one in the south. Definitely, I feel like a bit of a mistake then. Freedom's, I would say, otherwise good play there. Like, it's just for some reason the victory points just don't factor in. It's like he's playing a weird game of annihilation, but where there's somehow a gentleman's agreement at some point, he just give up. Going to send your head here. Pershing Marine crashing its way through uh, terrain. <clears throat> Got a pack out out of here with infantry support weapons. Being he's going to have two artillery pieces versus angry Dutchman's one mortar. You got 38 versus 26. Finally got some movement there towards the southern one, but we can held up here by pioneers. Well, not much. Hello, the center one there. Could lay down the smoke chain with the mortar. Yes, and in fact, this mortar being retreated. A someone's pushing back the range for the good grenade assault there. Cheeky work. Pack me up to see with the Pershing. Lots of fun here across most of the front. Right from fun moving the southern victory point as well. We got 4 and 6 versus 28. Pack out rain down death here on Angry Dutchman's Granat and Merfa. Friedrich there drops dead. And here, Oberfeldwebel Dieter continues to lead the assault gun that is here against the Army Cannon. So he's shattering down here, but not really killing anything. But he hasn't grabbed the northern victory point. He's down to 24 versus 4 and 6 still. Right and right from the south. In fact, no one's controlling any of the victory points now. The angry Dutchman about to quickly change that. There you go. Pat Cordy gets a good hit on the Pershing. Goes there for the tag. Weak point. 
Not quite ready. And there you go. Pat gets wiped, costing him the munitions without even getting off it. The shot there on Freedom's Pershing. Grenade assault here trying to prevent from running on it. You got 22 21 versus 4 to 6. Northern Mixture Pumping Seas as well here, but this all goes Panzer 4 and Pack ready. Something seized by Fipco there. Panzer 4 backing up. Direct, direct engagement of the Jackson. 19 versus 4 to 6. Unit looks like. Oh, it wasn't. Well, that's just Lieutenant there. The rest of the unit was actually pinned down elsewhere. Panzer 4 to the Pershing and they enter tank and head on. Not quite great there. We got 13 versus 4 to 6. Oh, accidentally moves off the point. Guess he's moving the Lieutenant to grab the point, but pushes the ranges through the smoke. Nine points left here for freedom. Pan falls to the captain, almost swapping it out. Three points left. One point left, and GG game over. Lost there for freedom, a victory for Angry Dutchman. A nice battle here, and certainly at times freedom, I think, was a good position. But hey, I feel like he just was too just head on like he barely flanked our maneuvers upon at times and while he had some good feel of harassment he never really focused on the victory points and I think better focus on that I think it also had a much better advantage could have played the game longer out here versus angry dash and more time to maybe turn around plus he just failed to bring up more armor after the person which I feel like some mistake plus he could just had his upgrades time better with him would also get a bit of a maneuverability and just more far power as angry dash angry dash they played over good well Played well, I mean, had an interesting strategy there. Made quite good use of his opponents, being two thumbs up. That's Angry Dutchman. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell friends, tell your family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links in Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll tomorrow again for another nice episode. Bye.